So we just got a headline of 14 homes, 1,400 homes destroyed in Ishikawa, I-S-H-K-A-W-A, which is closer to the mainland than Shika. Shika is where the nuclear power plant is too. And it's offline, but the fuel pools are full of uh, four decades of reactor cores. And uh, Wajima was massive damage. We've covered that over the last four uh, uh, videos. Suzu, which is the opposite end, I'm going to be a bit of shake and I apologize because I wasn't expecting to make a video this late at night. Suzu had 4,500 homes out of the 5,000 homes completely flattened, destroyed, which is on the other side of the Shitka. So on one side, there's 1,400 homes completely destroyed. On the other side, there's 4,500 homes destroyed. The coast was ripped out 820 feet, according to the GPS that's been there for years. And it lifted up. Uh, we're talking about hundreds of miles of coastline was torn out, and which is the same coastline where shit goes to. If you can, you can probably guess where I'm going with this. And then Nato was is the peninsula, right where the where the earthquake. It's it's six days. There's no help got into. Uh, Thirty one thousand people still in f almost four hundred shelters, don't have any water or food at all. Rescues haven't been able to go there. They say, oh, now they're saying the snow has kept them out. But the snow didn't start till six days later. And so you got 820, uh, the coastline extended out 820 feet. Guess what that's going to do to a reactor building? It's going to rip it apart. The fuel pool is going to dump its load. When the zirconium cladding is exposed to air, it's going to catch fire immediately. And it's a on full-blown nuclear meltdown. And then the nuclear industry can't survive another nuclear accident, particularly of this capacity, right? They haven't, they won't let Americans in there to help them search and recover. They won't let the Chinese in there for search and recovery. They won't let the Indians and other countries that offer the immediate and continuous assistance. And the Japanese are not in themselves. They're capable of going in. We haven't seen any footage out of there outside of the original footage. You have uh, the locals are getting out, um, wondering why there's no help. You know, there's tens of thousands of people got no help. People still buried. And so you got 820 kilometers of the coastline ripped apart where the nuclear plant is too. That ripped that whole site apart. It, and not only that, it was thrown up 13 feet. We're talking hundreds of miles. And on both sides of it, we got thousands of homes destroyed. Does anybody really believe that didn't melt down? Is there anybody out there foolish enough to believe that? Why, why else would they keep all the first responders out of that zone? Why didn't the helicopters go in and drop off water, go in and drop off food? They could have done it on day one. There's 400 shelters out there with 31,000 people that with no supplies. There's only one reason possible. But the reality of it is, if you look at the map and you chart out the communities I just mentioned to you, you'll see Shika, and we know Shika had a seven out of a seven on the Japanese seismic intensity scale. But we also know 820 kilometers of the coastline was extended, brand new coastline, harbors are dried up. Guess where that nuclear plant is located? And guess what happens when you rip, you're talking several football fields of tearing nuclear plants and the infrastructure apart. There's no way that didn't melt down, folks. So we can expect a plume hitting the coastline of America, the Pacific coastline today and yesterday, and for quite a while. And we can expect uh, Canada and the United States to be covered within about 14 days by January the 14th. And this is what we learned. Uh, this is not a game. I repeat, this is not a game. And... Um, I'm not home tonight, and so I'm going to go home tomorrow, and I'm going to come out with a presentation to describe and show you all this documentation. There's a huge cover-up going on, and um, I think the evidence is really clear now. We don't need confirmation because we have all the documentation, and so 
they're going to have to come out and announce it at some point. They can't keep hiding this. And so they're panicked. The industry's panicked. And you've seen that on the, if you go back and watch the first video I produced, it was really interesting because they were showing you all these pictures from Fukushima, but claiming it was. And so they don't want first responders coming in in helicopters because they've got to go past that nuclear power plant. And then the gig is up, right? There's no way they can continue to hide it. They might as well come out and acknowledge that it happened. And for the first time in history, let's try to deal with it like humans instead of like scumbags, the industry's like remember what the industry done, right? They done the exact same thing. They hid it away. Um this is not this is absolutely unequivocally what happened. We'll see everybody tomorrow. Um, this is not a game, folks. you got to consider taping up your windows and stuff like that if you're on the West Coast right now. Uh, we'll come home, we'll flush it all in tomorrow. I'll provide all the documentation, the evidence, as I always do. And I've gathered up a lot of information since the last show yesterday. Or, yeah, yesterday. And so I'll, I'll put together a really good presentation. We'll see everybody tomorrow. It'll be an early show. Um, let's get this information out there. Let's force their hand. Let's get them to prove it didn't melt down. Why don't the rescuers go in and help people? Let's get them to prove it didn't melt down. Because they can't, right? And if they don't prove that it didn't melt down, so push this video out there and we can force them to prove it didn't melt down. They can't do it, can they? Okay, have a great night, folks, if that's possible. But... Um, the evidence clearly showed this. Just, we lost the fuel pools we're talking about. Four decades of reactor cores just fell out of the buildings that got torn apart by 820 feet extension of that coastline and was raised up 13 feet. There's no way it could have survived. Take care, folks. We'll see you uh, tomorrow. See you in about 12 hours. Take care.